Hello, this is Francesca with Paper Birch. I am here um, providing you with another video to help you get through this digital learning, online learning process that we are going through right now because of the coronavirus. A lot of schools have had to um, cancel. Well, all schools pretty much in the United States have canceled, and now we are on a platform of digital learning throughout the country. So I wanted to share with you a tool that you can use that will help you and your students through this process and it's called Screencastify. This is a tool that you can use to record your lessons and to record what is going on on your screen and share that information with your students and then download that or upload that to your Google Drive. So it is an easy and organized, an easy, easily organized way to um, prepare lessons and to share that information with your students so that they can grab it, watch it, and still continue with their learning. It's best if you have Google Chrome, and I'm gonna show you how to use this tool today. It's called Screencastify. So, First, you want to start with your um, going to the Chrome Web Store, right? Once you go to the Chrome Web Store, you're going to have to type in Screencastify, and it's going to take you here. So this is what Screencastify looks like, and you're going to see this little icon. Once you download it here, it's going to say something about downloading it to your computer. And as you can see right here, this is the arrow that you'll see once it's completely um, on your computer. And then you can begin to set up. You'll have to register. I've already done that, so I can't show you that part again. Um, there is a code out there that you can get. Um, you're going to have, probably do a little bit of searching on our internet, but there is a code that you can use that will give you unlimited access um, for the year. Um, and it's because of the um, coronavirus that they are allowing us to do this. And it's a great, uh, a great tool for us to use to help us to get through this digital learning process. So once you have downloaded and you record, you'll push this here and it'll start recording your screen. It'll ask you if you want to share your screen and you will select yes. And just make sure that you have all the things up that you want to um, share with your students. So, for example, a PowerPoint presentation. You can go through and record yourself talking about um, whatever the topic is that you guys are going over that week. And uh, going through details with your students and talking them through each slide and it'll be recorded and it'll just make it more interactive with them. Also, you can work out, show them like little math problems and things like that. And if I can find it, there's some tools here um, with Screencastify that'll allow you to highlight and underline. Here it is. So you can highlight right you can um, circle and just write certain things that you want your students to see um, and so it's you know it's a cool a cool tool for um, this app uh, another thing you can do um, once you're done with your recordings it can automatically go to your Google Classroom. A lot of teachers are using Google Classroom to get us through this period, and that is great as well. So I want to just show you um, why we are using Google um, uh, Screencastify. I created a document somewhere here. Where is it? I think I closed it out. Um, now I've got to find it. So, uh, here it is. So here is the document that I created to kind of tell you five reasons why 
a screen recorder is vital too for school. Um, one, it helps with improving communications with your students. Two, creating amazing presentations to enhance the learning. Remember, they're not in the classroom, so this can still give them a little bit of that, what you would be doing in your classroom anyway. Um, so that's an, another good reason. Showing evidence of solid lesson plans. People are now, our APs and um, admin staff are trying to figure out how to monitor this whole digital learning process. So by putting things uh, like um, a video recording and showing that you're going above and beyond, um, offer a fun and unique way of digital learning, which is uh, always great. And then students can have 24-7 online access to your presentations. Remember, a lot of students are using one device for uh, digital learning and they have three siblings in the house. So this will give them time to get to your presentations because it's going to be uploaded to your Google Classroom and they will be able to access it whenever they need to. So I just wanted to give you a tip and show you what it would look like as I um, kind of work through it myself. So hopefully this will help. Hopefully this is something you can use next week. I will come back with more tips to help us survive digital learning. Thank you.